Dear God, I got one question I need to know, do revolutionaries go to heaven? And if so, may their legacies last forever And they seeds grow Tell them that we love them so And never let them die slow It's like we cursed to be born black We was kings and queens, now look where we at I know it won't be long before we take it back I just hope I live long enough to see it happen And that's a fact Cause one thing when you pro-black you might love your people, but they may not love you back For more than 400 years, we've been under attack We survived slavery and then they gave us crack Do revolutionaries go to heaven? 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 I wanna know. Do revolutionaries go to heaven? I hope so. Do revolutionaries go to heaven? I wanna know. Do revolutionaries go to heaven? I hope. Zealous in our efforts for progress, advocates for our children, achievers in all of our endeavors. Harambe. Harambe. Meaning, let's pull together. All right. Please repeat after me. We pledge to be. We pledge to be keepers of our culture. Keepers of our culture. Wise in our decisions. Wise in our decisions. Active in our communities. Active in our communities. Noble to our elders. Noble to our elders. Zealous in our efforts for progress. Zealous in our efforts for progress. Advocates for our children. Advocates for our children. Achievers in all of our endeavors. Achievers in all of our endeavors. Harambe. 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 I'll be first. Okay. You got to pour the water. Oh, you got What's good, Facebook family? I'm out here with my big bro, my family. And uh, we giving away a couple bikes for the holidays. Some of the kids who probably, you know, couldn't get nothing for Christmas. If anybody out there got some extras, they want to donate. You know, we still got time. It ain't Christmas yet. Want to donate or purchase a bike for a high school student, middle school, elementary school student. Till next time, family. Peace and blessings, family. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Taye Speaks. I got a very, very special guest in the house. I got my big brother on the show, somebody who's definitely been the inspiration and the guide to me as, you know, what a true black man is and represents. He's a father, a husband. He do a lot of work in the community, so I learned a lot of game from him myself growing up and continue to learn from him till this day. What's good, King? How you feeling? Oh, bless, bless, bless. How about yourself, King? All is well, all is well. See, let them know who you are and uh, where you from. Well, yeah, uh, name's Mike Greenwood. Uh, originally born out of Cleveland, Ohio. Currently reserve, uh, reside in Nashville, Tennessee, or right outside Nashville, Tennessee. Um, I am the founder and program director of Homo Beginnings, and Humble Beginnings Academy. Okay, okay. Now, what is uh, Humble Beginnings and Humble Beginnings Academy? Yes, yes. So, Humble Beginnings is a nonprofit uh, mentoring program that I started uh, roughly about 12 years, going on 12 years ago. Um, I started that program after I relocated to Tennessee, um, got to working with the youth, um, doing different things, and I started to realize a void. I started off just coaching AAU basketball and whatnot um, with my nephew. And then I started to realize that there was a void, um, something that these young men weren't being taught, weren't being exposed to. Um, and so that led me doing more than basketball with them. And, um, and so the program just kind of took off from there. And so that's Humble Beginnings. It's a, it's a mentoring program working with youth from uh, from neighborhoods that are uh, at risk, as, as some would call it. Um, and so we just kind of kind of go in and talk with them, 
And so that's Humble Beginners, the mentoring program. Uh, Humble Beginners Academy is, um, is another idea that I came up with that focuses on the education side um, where we open up, we help, we assist people in opening schools and, and running classes of all, all magnitudes, small local schools that may have only five to 10 students all the way up to major schools that have a, a lot more. And so that's Humble Beginners Academy. Oh, wow, man. That's what's up. I'm definitely proud of you, big bro. Uh, continuing Appreciate to do the great work that you do. Okay, let me see what my next question is. Okay, so if the viewer may not know, we brothers, we blood brothers. We got the same mother, same father. We, you know, we raised together. So in my opinion, I would say that our family has a greater perspective of the city of Cleveland than most families. Um, you live down the way, you lived in 30th, you lived in 40th, you lived in East Cleveland, you lived up the way, you lived in Warrensville, you lived in Cleveland Heights. So how have you used what many people would consider a negative experience to your advantage to work with a multitude of young men? Oh, great question. Um, so like you said, man, we, we, you know, Cleveland is known for a lot of bad, uh, but it's also known for a lot of good. Um, and us moving around a lot, we, we got to experience the whole thing. Um, as a kid moving around a lot, it was frustrating. Um, not, you know, being, unfortunately not being as stable as you would like to be. Um, but as you get older, you can even, you can either take those hardships and just let them eat you alive, or you can take those hardships and learn from them and, and do something with them. And so for me, I chose to try to do my best to, to learn from them and put them back into the world as a positive experience instead of a negative one. And so uh, living in different places, being around people from different backgrounds, to being around, being able to, to have friends that come from different types of households, um, you know, being around friends and family members that come from single parent households that was, that was fighting drug addiction, and also being around family members and friends that came from two parent households where everybody was working and finances wasn't a big obstacle. Um, I was able to learn from all of that. I was able to learn what you do want to do and what you don't want to do. And what may be surprising is that there are some do's and don'ts in both households. You know, not neither household was all bad and neither household was all good. And so I try to take those experiences and I try to share them with these young people because what I realized as I got older is those experiences uh, living in, in safer situations, I'll say, and in situations that provided more opportunity and more resources, those situations saved my life. You know, just to be honest, there's there was no uh, deep insight within me when I was younger that kept me out of trouble. Like I wasn't a guy that got scared of a lot. So it wasn't like I was scared to do this, scared to do that. I mean, I did get into my share of trouble, uh, but luckily I didn't get too deep into street life activity um, because I was able to be around other experiences and other people that was like eye opening. Um, and I understand that not everybody had that experience. And so because I was able to see that I had those experiences and some others didn't, that made me put that into my program to say, hey, if these young men were able to get some experiences and some conversations and able to see some things that they don't normally get to see, maybe that'll make them uh, think a little broader than they normally do. Okay, okay. Um, man, I definitely